What is going on, my hustlers? Welcome to another video. Just going to jump right into it. Two industries that are undervalued right now that have uh, massive room for growth, and it's not new growth, it's regrowth. And if you've ever, uh, you know, gotten in shape by either muscle training or any kind of uh, any kind of training in general, you know that it's a whole lot easier to get the old gains back than to develop new gains. And so the same is true with the stock market. So with some of these uh, gains that are gonna come back here in the next six months or so, um, it's just gonna be easy. It's gonna be really, really easy, but you need to get in now before uh, it's too late because once it happens, it's gonna happen quick. And so um, I'm gonna give you an example and I'm gonna tell you the stocks by name that I'm looking at buying or actually that I've already bought um, that I think you should get into too. And so. Um, two of my favorite stocks, if you go back and look at any of my videos, is uh, Play, which is Dave & Buster's, and then ELY, which is uh, Top Golf uh, Callaway. And so I've been huge in these, what they've been calling recovery stocks as far as entertainment goes. And so Dave & Buster's has already made a huge run back. I still think it has about 20% left to go. So if you want to get in on that, you're more than welcome to, although it's, I think there's better uses of your money at this point in time. The same with Top Golf, I think that'll probably run up another 30% uh, this year, uh, which again is great, but I think you can do better out there. But I think the two industries that are coming right behind it is right now is the travel industry. And so any airline, uh, Delta, DAL, American Airlines. American Airlines is basically the cheap travel version. Delta is more expensive, but I think they both could easily go up 50% in the next 12 months. Um, again, anything in travel. So right now, hotels are still on a good discount. Uh, Marriott, uh, anything out in Las Vegas, Wynn, uh, Las Vegas Sands Resort. And so any of those things, you're getting a huge, huge discount on them. But here's where we're at for uh, the country. And so right now, there are, I want to say, I read a report the other day, so I said 13 states are at like 20% either vaccinated or herd immunity because we've already had it. And so I, I put myself in there because I've also had COVID-19. And so as that number continues to grow, either by vaccine or just by sheer, um, you know, how many people have been testing positive the last month or two, uh, across the country, that means that we are going to see more travel. We are going to see more uh, entertainment because uh, we are going to feel free to travel again. And so for me, um, not that I'm walking around feeling 10 foot fall and bulletproof, but I've already had it. And so I have the antibodies. I'm donating my convalescent plasma. And so when I go out to travel, you know, I still abide by the rules. I put my mask and all that kind of stuff, but I am not in any kind of fear of getting Corona because I've already had it. And so as that number grows and as uh, the number grows of those vaccinated, travel's going to come roaring back. And so uh, I think the next uh, uh, COVID package that Biden is trying to put together right now is not just a $1,400 direct payment stimulus, but also uh, a couple, it's going to be a couple trillion by it's all over, but we're going to see direct uh, or more funds go to airlines and some of these uh, industries that have not done well over the last year, but Biden's going to make sure they stay afloat. And then when all of us start getting our stimulus money in, we're going to get our tax returns in. It's going to get warmer in March. We are going to be at herd immunity. You're going to see a lot more travel. And so any airline I think is a great deal right now. Hawaiian Airlines I've talked about. AZUL, which is international travel. You've seen me talk about them before. Uh, stocks, uh, sorry, cruises are super on sale right now. Carnival Cruise I think is a great buy right now. Um, Royal uh, Caribbean, again, that's kind of like the Delta. It's a little bit more expensive. Where Carnival is the American Airlines, it's a little bit cheaper. Um, the one airline that's kind of already recovered <clears throat> is Southwest. They've proven that you can still make money during this pandemic through travel. And so uh, you can go into Southwest, L uh, Love, LUV, and you'll probably get, again, probably 15 to 20%. But with Delta American Airlines, you're looking at 50%. And so that's where I'm putting some of my money. I've actually sold some of my Southwest uh, that I got in really early, uh, you know, March, April, when it, when it crashed real bad, uh, and putting a little bit of that into uh, the ones that have more growth, like America Airlines and Delta. Now, that's the one big industry. Now, the second industry that's going to be controversial, if you made it this far, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet. Um, and I know, I know my right-leaning friends, you're going to, you're going to, you know, downvote me. You're going to throw stones at me, but here's the deal. 
Social media is not going anywhere, okay? We can be mad at Zuck. We can be mad at Twitter. We can be mad at, you know, uh, Apple and Amazon. And we can be mad at all these companies, okay? And I know they've lost a bunch of money over the last week. But they're not going anywhere. At the end of the day, Facebook is still our favorite platform to connect with friends and family. There are people we have on our Facebook that we don't have their, their number or we don't have their email or we don't use email. And so Facebook is just going to come back. And from a small business owner, Facebook is the best place to put my money. That if I want to find, you know, that lead generation, Facebook is going to be where I put my money. And if it's not Facebook, it's going to be Instagram, which is owned by Facebook. And so I know Facebook has taken a beating the last week or two. And I know that, you know, conservatives all across the country are, you know, throwing stones at Facebook and they hate Zuckerberg and, you know, censorship and all that. I get it. But this channel is about making money and finding stocks that are undervalued. And Facebook is extremely undervalued right now. Snapchat, extremely undervalued right now. Now, this is just my two cents. I am not gonna buy Twitter. Uh, I don't like Twitter. Uh, I think Twitter's probably gonna bear the brunt of this, of this backlash. But this is who uses Twitter, okay? You have politicians, you have uh, celebrities, and you have sports athlete stars, okay? So that politician's number, that number may actually get cut in half. This, that's the one platform that may see long-term damage that may not recover from this. And so all the political pundits, um, they're about to lose half of who they follow uh, because I think a lot of conservatives are gonna get off of it. I think Democrats will still use it, but I think it's the conservatives who really, really keep Twitter uh, fueled, fueling that fire. Um, but Twitter is not a place where we have conversations anymore. It's a place where we just throw out information. We we just want to let people know our feelings. And for us average Joes, no one really cares what we think. So we follow politicians. Second thing is celebrities. Now, we all follow celebrities because we want to know what they're doing. We want to know what they're thinking. But right now, celebrities have kind of made that shift to Instagram because it's a whole lot more polished. And so all the good-looking celebrities are have fully... Uh, fully developed Instagrams that they post a whole lot more on and that we love to follow them on. Or number three, the sports star categories or the celebrities that are not good looking, they just like to post on Snapchat because you can throw a filter on it. You can just, hey, this is Snapchat. It does not have to be as much polished. And there's not 16, 17, 18 year old kids that are getting on Twitter saying, oh, I wonder what LeBron's doing today. But they are getting on Snapchat saying, oh, what's LeBron doing today? So I don't think, I don't think uh, Twitter's gonna make that comeback, but I do think Facebook and Snapchat right now, they've taken a beating. And um, again, it doesn't matter if you agree with their companies or not, um, they're going to come roaring back. They're going to, to see a 30 or 40% gain uh, here in probably the next three, four months that I would guess. And so I would definitely get into those Two industries right now that are super undervalued. So if you made it this far, you know you got some value out of this. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet. If you got somebody who's new to stocks or if you're new to stocks, you're looking for a new platform, uh, I highly recommend Webull in the link down below. Sign up, put a hundred bucks in, you get four free stocks. Hey, hit that like button, hit that share button. All right, y'all have a great day.